So I just got done watching the miraculous video of the dresser which falls over on the twin boys. Upon second look, there's a few details about the video that seem particularly suspicious when you look at them. First of all, the dresser is empty. There's absolutely nothing inside the drawers, which seems a little bit suspicious considering how much stuff goes along with having young children. The direction the camera is pointed is a little bit suspicious. It's pointed directly at the dresser, not at the bed where the boys sleep. A lot of people have asked where the heck were the parents and how could they not have possibly heard a dresser falling down, kids screaming for what seems like forever. Last, the fact that the father works for a smart home company who sells the nanny cam that this video was captured on. So which is it? Miraculous video of a toddler saving his brother or total hoax by two parents hoping for their 15 minutes of fame and to sell some nanny cams? The first thing I want to point out, the fact that it's an Ikea dresser, they're not made out of great materials. Frankly, the fact that it's an Ikea dresser is probably the most realistic thing in the video because Ikea dressers have a habit of falling over. So why was the dresser empty? Well, one possible explanation, if you look around the room, there's actually not much stuff in it. So maybe they just moved into the room. Maybe they had just bought the dresser and hadn't put stuff in it yet. But I think actually a more plausible explanation is the fact that they are toddlers in toddler beds. I know that when we transferred our first son out of his crib into a toddler bed, we took everything out of the room including the dresser because they kept getting out of the bed and playing with all the stuff you take the stuff out of the room to try to keep them in the bed so that they'll sleep of course we now know that just means they'll climb on the furniture but nonetheless I think it's entirely plausible that the parents took the stuff out of the room in order to keep the kids in their beds next is the nanny cams direction try to imagine setting up that camera if you didn't know anything about the dresser it's actually centered on the room so that it captures most of the bed and most of the play area which I think is a reasonable position that you would put the camera in given a fixed field of view. With young infants, yes, you put the camera right on their face, but these are toddlers. You're just trying to check and see if they're in the bed or wandering around the room. We'd put the camera in the same place. I don't think there's anything bogus about that. Where were the parents? Well, they actually explained on CNN. This occurred between 8 and 8.30 in the morning. They were still asleep in bed. The toddlers had gotten up and were playing, thus they didn't hear it. Yeah, it probably would have made a loud noise, but then again, if you've ever been the parent of two young boys, particularly twins, I can imagine you probably sleep a little bit heavy. It is possible that the parents heard the thud but didn't realize what was happening. We hear thuds all the time and don't necessarily run to the room, so maybe they're kind of covering that up a little bit, but I think the fact that they didn't immediately know this was going on is entirely plausible. Last but not least, the father's connection. He works for a smart home company who sells nanny cams that this was captured. Well, first of all, who loves their company enough to endanger the lives of their children to sell some nanny cams? Second, having a nanny cam would not have prevented this from happening. Furniture straps or mounting hardware would have prevented this from happening. It's the thing you should run to the store right now and purchase. Whether or not you had a camera wouldn't have prevented this from happening. If the father was so calculated to try to do this to sell some cameras, wouldn't he have come up with a scenario that made the camera the true hero, the thing that you couldn't live without in order to prevent this from happening to your kid? Further, I think that explains why he has the camera in the first place. When you work for a company, you usually get a lot of stuff that the company sells and you have it around the house. I know the parents had mentioned that it took them a couple of days to decide whether or not they wanted to post this on the internet. And as a fellow parent, I can appreciate their dilemma. They knew when they posted this that a lot of people were going to throw a lot of shade their direction for being bad parents. The internet is full of parenting experts who never do anything wrong, who are perfect parents, and who will tell you all about it in the comments section. But any real parent knows all too well that we're never perfect, that we all make mistakes, and it's whether or not we learn from those mistakes that matters. By releasing this video and having tens of millions of people view it, they now know about the dangers of furniture falling over on kids. There's probably tens of thousands of parents who did not realize that that was such a danger. And once you see that video, you better believe you're gonna anchor down your furniture for your kids. Beyond that, there's probably tens of thousands of more parents who know the dangers, but just haven't gotten around to securing all the furniture in their house. Because life gets busy and it's sometimes something that's just so easy to put off. So in conclusion, I think there's no way that this video is fake or a hoax. I think it's a miraculous video of a catastrophe avoided that we can all learn from as parents because dressers falling over on children just doesn't need to happen. It's an easy fix. Strap your furniture to the wall, get the mounting hardware, take care of it this weekend. Don't put it off anymore. There's no excuse. Now you know.